Good morning. Welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nossbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist, coming to you here on this fine Thursday. And I still have to figure out my lighting. It feels a little dim to me, but and later in the day it's just fine. It's just there's no sun up yet, so it's just kind of gloomy in here. <laughs> but welcome. We'll see what we get for a message today. Our card deck is, good morning Cindy, glad you're here. Our card deck is the Healing with the Angels deck and it's by Doreen Virtue and she has kind of renounced all of her work which I think is sad but we'll give her credit anyway. Morning Joe, glad you're here. Um, because I think this this card deck is actually I believe the very first card deck I received many 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 years ago. Um, the Healing with the Angels deck. And our card for today is Ideas and Inspiration. Ideas and Inspiration. It looks like someone else is here who isn't popping up, but I'm glad you are all joining me this morning. So a couple of nice deep breaths. <clears throat> Just to settle into the present moment. Good morning, Luann. Just noticing what it feels like to breathe in and breathe out. Next breath in, a little more full. And the next exhale, a little more release. And just notice how that kind of wakes you up a little bit when you inflate and deflate more fully. Welcome to the others of you who have snuck in or I haven't seen your name pop up, but I can see we have six people here today. So really glad for that. So here it is, ideas and inspiration. Card meaning, pay attention to new thoughts and ideas that come to you. I love this next line. They are seeds of magnificent co-creation with God. Spirit, creator, universe, whatever works for you. But they are seeds of magnificent co-creation with all that is. God speaks to you through your thoughts, and this card shows that the angels want you to notice and follow the ideas you have recently received. And with those ideas, it's kind of like they're knocking on the door. They're knocking on the door. And if you're dismissing them, you kind of peek out the window to see who's there and you're not opening the door, they will knock louder. <laughs> so it behooves you to open the door sooner rather than later. Let's see. These thoughts are answers to your prayers for guidance. So please don't discount them as mere imagination. And I can't tell you the number of times people will say that to me. Well, I had this, this thing come to me, but I think it was just my imagination. Why? Do, first of all, why do we write off our imagination, which is a huge gift that we have, but also um, why do we not assume that that's the guidance that we've asked for. Here it is, coming to us in the form of a thought in our mind, all right? By drawing this card, the angels seek to give you confidence that you are just as capable of receiving wonderful ideas as any other child of God. That is because all wonderful ideas originate from the one divine mind of God. So think of it as source. Good morning, Mel, glad you're here. Good morning, good morning. Um, think of it as source and all pours forth from source. So of course the thoughts in your mind come from source. Of course they do. Since God is omnipresent, meaning everywhere, God is within you. So God's mind continuously expresses new thoughts and ideas right inside your mind. You know, we... Um, kind of differentiate that. Does it seem like something comes to us from outside of us? We tend to value that more than what comes from within us. And I think that's a sad state of affairs. So I want to challenge you to begin to value what comes from within as much or more so than what comes from without. All right? The things that are generated within you First of all, I think they're going to be even more highly tuned to you because they're originating within. I believe that what comes from without, outside of us, also is attuned to us because as within, so without. We're projecting it out there and then receiving it back. So, <clears throat> 
but I think today's a day to mess around with ideas and inspiration. And actually, I'm going to have six hours in the vehicle to mess around with ideas and inspiration. So TJ and I are headed back up to Rapid River to pick up one more load of stuff and uh, meet with the contractors and the new owners and all kinds of peeps and see Miss Marlowe. I'm sure TJ is going to be excited to death to see Miss Marlowe. Um, and then we'll take a walk on the trails again back there just to chill him out before we hop in the vehicle and head back down to Wisconsin. <laughs> But so I'm going to be practicing my ideas and inspiration and where can you where in your day? Can you fit in some idea time some? Uh, brainstorming within so I'll throw out one way of going about it, but you can do whatever suits you um, Think of an issue something that you're trying to resolve something that hasn't really um, come to a resolution easily and then start messing around with it from a from all different perspectives. If I were 95 years old and I looked at this issue, what would I think? If I were a child, if I'm coming at it from a child's mind, what would a child's mind perceive with this particular situation? If I asked my best friend, what would I get for a perception of this situation? Just mess around with it. What are my options? Be, be fantastical. Okay, so if Wonder Woman were going to f zoom in and take care of it, what would she do? Um, if someone who's really intelligent, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, were to um, resolve this problem, what would she do? Just mess around with stuff and see what comes. Good morning, Donnie. Glad you're here. We're just about done for today, but let me just show you our card again. Ideas and inspiration. Today we're going to be messing around with ideas and inspiration. And in terms of your life purpose, your life goal, where you're headed, ideas and inspiration is a great way to go. Kind of view it as like the crumbs getting dropped along the trail for you to follow. And when an idea pops in, mess around with it. Pick it up, turn it over, think about it in the ways I've just talked about thinking about it and see what it has for you because that may be the next step down the trail that you will choose to take. How awesome is that? So I hope you have all have a wonderful Thursday. I'm going to spend most of it sitting on my butt and then hauling a bunch of boxes. So we'll see how this all goes. But so tomorrow, if I look kind of like the wreck of the Hesperus again, you'll know why. Um, but then I should have everything in one place and uh, can begin sorting through because again, I've come to the conclusion that I have way too much stuff and it's time for other people to be blessed with that stuff. <laughs> Have an awesome Thursday. We'll see you all again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.